True Daughter of This Soil, 2nd edition, by Joseph Leo Hickey, published by Melodium House. Introductory Information Harmony and Leafy are dead. Fifty years have passed since the day when Harmony, the South African political activist, was murdered during a national television broadcast. After her death, her vision was forsaken, and the nation descended on its path of racial division, hatred, and poverty. After so long, there was still no hope of healing of the wounds caused by the crimes of the pro-apartheid government. Now, a xenophobic, communist, extremist political party, known as the Sons of the Soil, has seized military control of South Africa. Many of the world's other first world countries facing economic disaster have descended into chaos. The most notable of these nations is what is left of the United States. Harmony was a prolific writer with great visions for her nation and left a large corpus of works behind. Some of these were found, but none were paid any notice until recently when a new body of manuscripts was found. They, the slaves of the South, are the happiest, and in some sense the freest people in the world. George Fitzhugh, 1857 Every shipwrecked soul knows what it means to live without intimacy. You too, every breaking wave. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free. There is no male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. St. Paul Galatians 3.28 ESV CD number 5 208A From Sanger's perspective, I gave up on my dreams. From Harmony's perspective, I can no longer sleep, tossing and turning all night with an energy inside me, pushing me to do something about the path the world is treading. From Sanger's perspective, another day at Wimpy flipping burgers, the heat from the stove makes me feel a new kind of apathy, as if nothing in the world could make me change my mind, that life is meaningless and there is nowhere to go but down. When I get home I lie down on the couch, repeat the cycle, and then I come back to my workplace. No one is there, the business has shut down and left, and I have no job. So I go outside and then explore the world in my dreams, the nature of it. There are so many things I wish I could be doing, like practicing language skills, traveling to new countries instead of watching the local news and watching hate spew across the airwaves. And we desire a new constitution for our tainted hearts, a new deal for a broken and bitter world. From Harmony's Perspective I had a dream that I was writing tens of thousands of words, but then my pen would not put ink on the page, and all I could do was press my pen down until the paper would tear. And when the paper tore, it cut a hole through the page and completely lacerated the skin on my upper leg. And then I wrote the page with my blood without my words. The stuff we are made of is more than all the words in the universe. I remember the time when we went to the Seether concert, and there is something beautiful about brokenness. There is a certain joy, even when we are angry, a certain metaphor we cannot define, except when we take in our breaths gradually, leisurely, and exhale slowly, and walk through the world slowly, absorbing every part of it, because I know regardless of where you came from, you feel the same things I feel. I met someone, and I will only write about it here. And although it is too early to say this, I love him. There is something life-giving in the moments. We look each other in the eye and tell each other that we love each other. That time spent laughing is time spent living. That time spent dreaming is time spent fulfilled. That wounds that mingle with your touch are instantly healed. 208B, from Leafy's perspective. I will be here imagining the world. From Harmony's perspective, I will imagine the way the world will be in 50 years, and the way our hearts come together, 
sealed like strokes of ink on a page of a book telling the story of our lives, disseminated across all the oceans. We step out our front door feeling the Oslo wind. We fall together into mystery, but we will find the answers together. There are words that are unread. No eyes have seen them, but they have a life of their own. Drinking in the rhythm, freed from the spirit of division, exonerated of all crimes. From Leafy's perspective, I have melody in my heart, and it was here since the day I was born. Since then, it has only grown. 208C. From Leafy's perspective, we descend into fires where our works are tried, and we will see if they ever stand the test of time. From Harmony's perspective, wounds across our bodies from fighting voraciously, from our war waged bitterly, until we realize that death comes for us one at a time. Joyful, blistering love. From Leafy's perspective, in the single moment, when we sing from our hearts, I long for beautiful times and places that existed only in our past. We write words with an ocean of our soul, and we pour our soul as ink upon the pages of lonely lives. From Harmony's perspective, the birds in the sky dreaming about living in the stories that we wrote, flying through these universes and finding their own place in the most powerful play. 209A, from Harmony's perspective. One day I stopped being able to write. I couldn't write anything anymore. It was always my greatest fear that inspiration would leave me forever. To have the words no longer flow for me that would describe you. A serendipitous energy finds an end to the loneliness. A unity that only comes through reading your words and understanding them. Words frozen in time, condensing experience into expression. I am fed up with your political ideologies if they do not point to this one thing, that we are all equal, that human experience is shared, and in the sharing of this experience there is transformation and depth. 209b. From Harmony's perspective, impossible to write about what I am feeling. From Leafy's perspective, without exhausting all of the ink in the world. 210. From Harmony's perspective. Glory to the Holy Trinity. We have been freed, redeemed. It matters not who we are. The Lord God made us all. God is always watching, never forsaking. Into an ocean we will fall. Love thriving and suffering. Peace and reconciliation. Joy and exaltation. Here today, united we will stand. Praising God for everything we have in South Africa, our land. 211. From Sanger's Perspective After I lost my job, my life was like a dream. Where would I go? Would I live homeless on these streets forever? I still had her words on the page. I studied them, and they inspired me, even though they were written 50 years ago. The voice still spoke to me youthfully, as if she was still alive. From Leafy's Perspective Meteors shower over our lives. From Harmony's perspective, we gaze at the sky, never looking away. Pieces of dust falling to earth. From Leafy's perspective, while our emotions will never reverse, all that is left is a chaotic dream in which these pieces of dust reach us. There is always boisterous adventure, even in the dreams we share. No portraits can be painted except what has its root in the real world or else those born blind would be the greatest painters in the world. From Harmony's perspective, in a sense it is better to be born blind than it is to be born with the use of both your eyes. The world could be anything to you. You will never see the ugly things that thrive here. When the meteors are crashing down, you may as well be walking through a water park. Perhaps all you need are words. No sight is necessary to portray the virulence Words you write some nights of echoing power that resonate down the generations. From Sanger's perspective, the words inspired me, even if they would inspire no one else. Words of love, depth, and resonance. The more I read of the words, the more they echoed in my own soul. The more her thoughts became my thoughts. The more she lived in me. 
the more agony was felt viscerally, scorn universes that can no longer be summoned. 2.12 From Leafy's Perspective There is no limit on how far I will go. I've gotten into too many fights for no good reason. They say I have anger issues and cannot control my emotions. But what we really are is just chemicals floating through space and time. After you would say those things to me, push me against the wall. I would sit with pen in hand and write about the glory of the connection between simple souls. How, when you hear what I am saying, there is energy and motion in this motion power. Even when the darkness surrounds us during the storm, the whirlwind surrounding us, none of it compares to the rage that is inside my soul. Harmony is worth fighting for. She tells me secrets that you will hear. 213 From Sanger's Perspective The military marching through the streets, burning the old order, while my innermost being retreats deep inside the recesses of myself. I always say nothing until I am threatened. They come for you, but not for me. As new laws are enacted, truly draconian, I look through the streets and see people running, holding signs while marching, guns pointed upward, buzzing. It was an endless procession of little steps to get to here. A police state controlled by fear. Absolute authoritarian regime, sons of the soil. While I live my life staring at the screen, watching what is happening, digging deeper into myself, Protesters met with tear gas and black flags unfurled. Life destroyed, land taken away. Rocks through windows and buildings in flames. I was there when the building burned down. Old businesses will never return. I was inside that house when the family was broken. Homes taken away. Amazing how the worst generational movements of power in history were convinced they were doing what was right. Empires rising, destroying democracy thinking they are right with religious zealotry. Though they had true devotion, their actions were cold and without emotion. Every wicked state is brought about by people with the best of intentions, or at least that's how they justified it within their own minds, no matter how delusional they were. I perfected the craft of understanding my own experience, of looking back in the past. Through the words on these pages, I hear a voice the world scorned. 214 from Sanger's perspective. I walked wherever I wanted to go, no car, no hotel, no phone. Just observing the world, passing by here, creating everyone with kindness and love. And I lay down underneath the canopy, under cardboard boxes, and I pulled them over me as it started to rain. And then I walked to the beach, arms outstretched, and felt the rain on my face, the water droplets of eternity. A gift from God dripping across my face, which directed me across the oceans. 215A From Harmony's Perspective I stood in the middle of Durban Beach and looked out at the sunset, and I saw what all sailors wanted to see. The very sand beneath my feet, the earth of whose soil I am a daughter. I grew up here and lived here forever. I walked all the paths of my ancestors, but really, I was born here and took my first breaths here. And that is enough. To be enshrined in breathing, laughing, crying flesh feet on this soil is enough. We do not choose our birthplace. I have high hopes for the future, and I see these hopes like a prophecy. One day my words will no longer be my own. They will belong to you. Passed down to my children on this same soil, where new generations will grow and thrive and live, having the same hope in their souls as mine. The same angels that will watch over them guided me through my entire life as well. From Leafy's perspective, we turn the lights out. Good night, my Leafy, she said. And then I found myself in dreams once again. Dreams I had long forgotten in the past came back to me reminding me that they are still there and that they still require fulfillment. The next thing I thought about were bustling politicians of every nation, flooding through the floor of their assemblies, telling secrets, telling lies, telling nothing at all. And I remember the time I was walking but tripped and fell and broke my arm. Sometimes we are lost in this world, not knowing anywhere to call home. 
living promiscuously, never sedentary, always in one eternal motion of uncertainty. Imagine South Africa becoming like that right now. Made a YouTube video about the current crisis. The only comment was, keep your fat American nose out of this, write a poem about it, dumb fuck. And I see in the streets pictures of wicked politicians, Stalin, Lenin, Malema, carried throughout the world. I have no respect for them, but all of them gain power in their time. They seize their presidency. From Sanger's perspective, our government was dysfunctional, paving the way for the SOS. And after that, there is nothing but silence and death. 215B From Leafy's perspective, Heaven opened its gates and greeted us, where we could live forever. But then I realized it was only a dream. 215C From Leafy's perspective, Every voice unique, every one of us finding our place in the same world, where we belong as a family. 216 from Sanger's perspective. I stood outside of the restaurant with no cash in hand, so I began to go through the trash bin in the back of the restaurant and look for food, and I found just as much as I needed to survive another day. And then there was someone shouting in multiple languages vulgarities and telling me to go back to Europe. And so I walked away, and I visited communities and spoke to the people, talked about the weather and what they thought about the regime change. From Harmony's perspective, I love you. From Leafy's perspective, common words repeated, her hand grasped tightly, our lives intertwined like ghosts never forgetting their home, our days passing with all their horror, an acceleration, knowing we will not be able to grasp these days tightly enough to keep them. From Harmony's perspective, the angels inside our souls tell us there are other worlds, where we can lie down and rest, that it will not always be one constant struggle to fulfill our basic needs. We are never far from living on those streets. We are never too far from the edge of the razor blades. We are never too far from the bottom of the empty bottle, whose nectar we use to mask our real concern and argument with the world. From Leafy's perspective, we are collecting rounds of ammunition. Our words are art through which we will overthrow the world. Transformation only comes through art. No lasting human change ever comes except through the deepest segment of the heart. We struggle to put to words what we've had boiling inside our souls, destroying us from the inside and pouring through. And at the end of our lives, it seeps out of us, and then everyone sees what we have been feeling and explodes and floods the world. 217 from Leafy's perspective. I was sitting in the restaurant with my friends and after a long angry rant, they said it would be best for us to go back to Africa. From Sanger's perspective, I cut my foot while walking barefoot. I cut my hand while searching through the trash for food and then I waited for it to heal and it healed. Without rands, the nation is nothing but closed doors that cannot be opened. But through my closed periphery to the world, people talk and word gets out of the debates in the National Assembly. After a new party took over the government, after armed demonstrations of soldiers through the street, SOS now rules with a fist of iron, committing crimes that we will no sooner forgive than those, than of those they admired, Marx, Lenin, and Stalin, a vision skewed by torture, a torture skewed by hopelessness. Spinning around is a broken record, while I read more words of harmony, and as I cross the beach one more time, I see the birds flying, going somewhere. I do not know where they are going. Tomorrow night, I will dream about their destination. They go somewhere and no one can touch them. I wish I could be like one of those birds and fly, find my true identity, grow my own wings and walk away to a world where free of all persecutions, I can live a comfortable and long life. There are no more worlds like that. I'm afraid everything is expired, the world now polluted, economies not sustainable, debts taken they could not pay back, selling, selling their posterity into slavery, and now I walk alone through the alleyways of a city that will never understand me. I have gotten more in touch with my anger than I have ever been. 
when I saw beautiful things and understood beautiful things and understood beauty and darkness, beauty and pain, beauty in the raindrops that fell on my face, the same raindrops that fell on Harmony's face, of lovers long forgotten, love long lost, journeys never completed, we never counted the cost. I remember the days when I would lift weights at the gym. I have to let go of my own strength. I no longer depend on it. Rather, I depend on the strength of poems, of words to help me tear down the iron walls instead of brute force. 218. From Harmony's Perspective All the things I hate the most, mercy left behind, walking away and never turning back, Moments where we think we have nothing in common. Moments where we forget the power of our own words and stop writing. And stop expressing and stop thriving. When all we can say is we pray for this bad time to end. With no other action or comment to alleviate the poverty and helplessness we have fallen into. When we pray to God as our only means of resolution, we are weakened. We are powerless, impotent. I have driven through the city and watched the poor in the streets. I have walked through the world wondering how easy it is to sink to the bottom, and it can happen to any of us at any given time. We fight against apathy like a pandemic. When people are infected, they don't realize they are, until it is spread to others, and then it is much too late. I have sunk my feet into the waters of oceans I never thought I would find. I have watched currencies plummet in value and watch the savings of peoples fade to nothing. Labor never to be rewarded, value lost, families broken, promises that were made when the sun was shining are broken in the midst of the dark storm. Lives that are joined to each other can be separated by things so inconsequential and banal. I walked down the street again, greeting everyone I saw, no matter who they were. My phone was once stolen at gunpoint. I threw it and ran, afraid for my life, valuing it more than I realized in that moment when it was on the line. 219. From Leafy's Perspective Everything I saw in her eyes, pure and true, aquamarine. Everything I hear from her, hope, laughter, resolve, where overwhelming doubts should be. Doubts that would make us never take any risks. A lack of self-confidence that makes us realize that we are never good enough. She is confident, and she knows it. She knows that she could live here forever, fighting, thriving, and eventually dying. 220. From Leafy's Perspective She sent me a picture of herself lying on the asphalt in a parking lot in KZN. She sent me a picture of herself walking through the streets of cities I could only dream about visiting. She sent me pictures of herself when she was younger, visiting several foreign countries, a life filled with adventure, risk, and chaos. She sent me a picture of the mountains in Eastern Europe, the flight landing and the glare of the sun through the window. And she sent me notes about all the conversations she had with all the people there. And I came to realize that we are all the same. There is something in the eyes of each person that lights up when they connect with another. There is something in our minds that desires to have love forever till the end of our days. There is something like truth of hope of the future, despite the always present anxieties that threaten to bring us down. I was sitting in class during my senior year of high school when all these pictures flooded my phone. I put the phone away into my pocket and could barely keep myself from looking at them. And then... She sent me beautiful poems that inspired me to paint portraits of her world, and I opened Illustrator on my PC when I got home and painted the most beautiful things I had ever seen in my mind. And from then on I realized I would love her forever, and I felt like I would be eternally dreaming, eternally falling. The next summer I saved up my money and visited her in South Africa that Christmas. It was the best time of my life. When I told her all these things I felt during my life, she told me that she felt them too. I told her I loved her, and she said, I love you too. 221. From Harmony's Perspective I sat on top of the mountain beside him. I told him all my secrets while the sun was going down, 
and no one else could see us. I kissed him and fell in love with the taste. After the month ended, he returned to Chicago, and I counted down the days until I would see him again. I began to write viciously and without ceasing, always trying to capture a moment in words, the moment that would exist forever. 2.22 From Sanger's Perspective I sank in sleep the stars above me, and soaked in water. I dreamed of interconnecting worlds that exist parallel to ours, how it would have been extremely easy to end up in one of these other worlds, and extremely easy for me to have been you. The trend we follow when we forget about the other person, we sink into an ocean of despair, regimes changing like the reloading of a magazine, power that bursts open the iron walls we hide behind, finds us, and destroys us. Here we dream of the chances we wish we had in our youth, while the birds above my head still sing, and the stars still shine over a world even when this world forgets about them. And as the nights set in, we grow chilly. I'm not sure what I'm seeing is real, almost as if I'm hallucinating. Actually, I'm sure I'm dreaming. Riots crowding the streets, political unrest and turmoil, stadiums filled with angry political rallies, I will fill in the words that they were lacking, and harmony will fill in the words that all men were lacking. Sometimes we are lacking in understanding our neighbors, sinking somewhere we don't understand where. Soldiers walk streets violently opening doors and scaring those in their homes, and eventually throwing them out onto the street, and they are soon no longer welcome on the street, so they are thrust into the ocean. It's amazing how the wealth we have burdens us, we don't realize it right away, but we are stewards of the things we have and not masters. It is our job to help those in need, our sisters, our beloved brothers, the earth, the place we love and thrive and burst out in joyful celebrations. 223 From Harmony's Perspective I wasn't sure if I was dreaming, envisioning things, or hallucinating. Like the minutes before you were about to sleep, and just as you were waking up, I saw a black and red flag raised above South Africa. From Sanger's perspective, replacing the many colored flags of the Rainbow Nation. Torn down, old constitutions burned. Treading a path we would never return. With burning passion, we sing songs in the depth of our lack of vigilance. On the street, unknowing what is going to happen. And I speak to you from the corner of the shelter, and we eat soup together. I learn your language from you, and you learn mine from me, but we both speak English. From Leafy's perspective, there is a certain connection we have. We look at each other's art and study it, and then admire it. There are dreams we have in which we stare at the sky, and then I come home and paint portraits of it. I painted a portrait of my wife lying on the concrete, her arms outstretched, her tattoos of stars trailing up her forearm her beauty and immensity. When I looked at her, I saw everything I love. 224. From Leafy's Perspective I do not judge you. I know we are closer than we can imagine. Whatever you've done, I will forgive you. We are all only passengers on our journey, through a life where there will be scars, whether or not we are locked behind those bars, and there will be unbearable pain that we as humanity must deal with and struggle with together fighting through bad and stormy weather that threatens to capsize our ships, destroy our homes, leave us all on our own, make us flee from our home and find a new one, and lose all the people who are closest to us, so that from one point on, we no longer know them. The days faded to nothing but wasted nights when we didn't reach out to others to try to help them in their poverty. So I spent so much time volunteering, not caring at all about myself. Time spent away from love results in a wasted life. 225. From Sanger's Perspective And so I began volunteering my time to anyone who needed it. Even though I myself needed someone to do the same, I spread myself thin with all of the work, and at the end of the day, my muscles could barely move. And I started teaching someone Afrikaans, and they started teaching me Zulu. New words for ideas I never had. I learned a little more each day. I would come back to him every day, 
and we became the best of friends. He called me a poet, and I called him an arbiter. We taught each other what we never would have learned ourselves. Where once it was grueling, now the tasks were not so hard. We could thrive in the depths of despair, and misunderstanding we would forgive. And I knew that in this newfound friendship, I had discovered what I had been lacking for so long. From Leafy's Perspective how many joyful moments can we experience before experience produces a feeling of pure happiness? How many lives can we live before we have all the knowledge we need to dive into the world and leave it better than we left it? From Harmony's perspective, When grace leaves our souls, it leaves a hollow shell, and as it flees, it leaves silently without warning. It doesn't stop to tell you why, or give you a second chance, and then the hole in your heart is more crater than anything else. From Leafy's perspective, I greet the violinist on the street corner, and we have a long and drawn out conversation about the cost of living and the clouds, and then the oceans that were once calm within me, but now are seducing and unstoppable waves, loud and gloriously powerful. From Harmony's perspective, it is not hard to stop for a moment, write down your thoughts and share them with the, all the itching ears in this world. From Sanger's perspective, I said goodbye to standing aloof from danger, from disaster, from lack of aggression. I faced the world like I would in a nightmare. From Leafy's perspective, these empty streets where we walk, and Harmony squeezes my hand. As her hand tightens around mine, I remembered how we would describe the world when we first met, and how, now that we are together, neither of us is intimidated by the world. With our hands locked together, our minds connected, our hearts so alive. 226, from Sanger's perspective. Arbiter and I would sit down and read whatever we could find, in whatever language we could find it. News articles, fragments of pages from books, like in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And always listen to yourself, it is better to be wrong than to simply follow a convention. Before these pages blew away with the wind, and, and were lost, never to be found again. I studied them and knew they would come back to me in one way or another. The old anthem of South Africa would never be heard again because, from Harmony's perspective, we will never stand united. We will never strive for freedom. South Africa is not our land. 227A. From Sanger's perspective, we stood at the gas station with the 50 rands we had earned and bought some food. We waited there as a group of people pulled up with beer bottles in hand. As I was going through the door, someone lifted their leg up and tripped me, and I fell face first through the door and hit my head in the asphalt. There was a slight stream of blood dripping down my face, but the arbiter was there to bandage it. 227B. From Leafy's perspective. Burning fires across the world, a protest of cars set ablaze, neighborhoods burning, mobs burning down our homes. From Harmony's perspective, I am persistent in my hope. I am patient above all. I am a mourner of worlds. I also greet the morning of the new day with arms wider than the world itself. I see what you failed to see. I dream where you failed to dream. You could not bring yourself to think of a world where our lives are not burning down. 227C From Sanger's perspective And then I slept for the rest of the night and had dreams I never had before. Though long ago I gave up on everything my dreams had told me. 228. From Leafy's perspective, I dreamed of Harmony all night, even as I lay sleeping next to her. From Harmony's perspective, I dreamt of love and lights, and feelings of joy that flood the world. Drown the shadows in pure sunlight, like love floods my avenues and comes to my front door. From Leafy's perspective, I had fears of being left alone forever, and I gazed into her diamond eyes. From Harmony's perspective, I held my Leafy closer than ever, and I would never wake up without him again. Pain keeps us alive. It's how we know we have love. When each little part of us is torn away slowly, I would never imagine a world without him. From Leafy's perspective, I woke up and stared into her eyes for five minutes and stroked her face. I had a dream that you left me, she, I said. Never, she replied. 
229 from Leafy's perspective, we are pulled away from each other and are suddenly drawn back together. Though the world around us may not go our way, God always finds a way to reach through the universe so we can make a promise to love each other our entire lives. From Harmony's perspective, I will never let go. I know it's not that hard. All I want is to hear you say, baby, let's go home. 2.30. From Harmony's perspective, a simple love, even coming from different places, will set the world alight, leading us through the unfathomably darkest night, and lead us away from the blindness of racism, degradation, and lead us toward reconciliation of all things glorious and gorgeous. 2.31. From Sanger's perspective, what the imagination seizes as beauty must be truth. Do not accept anything as the truth if it lacks love, and do not accept anything as love if it lacks truth. Those words echoed in my soul, like a recurring voice that I could hear calling me, to draw things out of the finite and into the infinite, to hold on to beauty despite how ugly some things in the world became. From Harmony's perspective, we are the book worth billions that was finished but never published and therefore was never successful. We are the beautiful love and truth the world has not seen and still I cannot sleep because I know my true value and purpose. And any who sits quietly for a moment and listens will also know this. Sometimes the things I say are hard to digest because of how flagrantly blunt and true they are. Who can even listen to my words? There is a certain poetry within our soul that you will not understand unless you digest every line within our soul slowly, reading it like a computer reads binary, taking it entirely literally, so that every code inputs what it outputs, and if someone comes to take you, I'll fight to save your life. But when they come to take my life, however, I'm not sure how much longer I can stand. We will be addicted to truth like someone is deeply addicted to drugs. We will smoke the joints of biblical wisdom and the philosophical truths of Socrates and Aristotle, of mathematics and of technologies, until we reject anything that isn't true, pointing to something greater than ourselves, so that we find truth in nothing else, when we understand that only truth is beautiful, that falsehoods are only here to deceive us. We will make it our priority. And the first thing we learned when we studied these things was that all of us are, were the same. I was on the internet arguing vehemently with someone who strongly believes that blacks are inferior to whites, citing fabricated studies of information that doesn't even matter or isn't even true. I know poetry flows through me when Malema stood up and I spoke out. I know nothing but poetry flowed from my lips, and all night I would sit at home, on the bed, writing, feeling the margins of the notebook, love poems, poems of life, poems of truth and human equality, life nothing but a marathon where we must fight for virtue till the end. And when we see the finish line, we, we sprint as fast as we can go because the end of our lives is the hardest part of the race. Sometimes we must give up our lives to save them, but during this race there are no guiding voices that take us by the hand. All we have are our own choices that take us where we want to go. Every choice a fork in the road creating another world. Where what we had before is gone. We now have something new. Nothing stays the same. Everything always changes. But where I am now there is deep celebration that all of us are still alive. So grateful to be alive that we cannot believe it. Spinning out with arms outstretched on the beach. The rain soaking my face. Later on, we will go, lie on the asphalt, and start staring at the stars, having visions for the future, based on visions of the past that never happened. Things we could have done, radical decisions that are now seen as mundane. All we want is the constant forward change, which leads not to utopia, but rather to the very least acceptable level of human respect. At the very least, I know we all are equal. I count down the days till my leafy returns to me, when he gets time off from work, and he can come to me. When he comes back to my world, he will see how much has changed. 
He will see how much my accent has changed after living so long in South Africa again. He will see a side of me that he has never seen before. So far away from the culture of the United States. We'll put on our plackies and step outside. And walk by the beach. And I will, st I will tell him all about the times that I walked by the beach alone. Seeing the people having fun, thriving and swimming. And he will understand that even though time spent alone is not time wasted. Time spent together is time spent building a world. Like nothing we have ever seen. When you build a family... You build something truly infinite and special. There are no words in the vocabulary of any language put in any order that could sufficiently describe the beauty of families. Life is about family, connection, its purpose. Whether we stand tempted to stand alone or have found true everlasting love, I know the paths eventually will lead us to something greater than ourselves because how can we only live by ourselves? How can we only think of one simple thing other than the connections around us? How is the world not growing brighter? How is it falling away from the common charity that all humans share? The common charity that is inside everyone's heartstrings, that causes these heartstrings to pull and tug on our hearts. How can anyone look at the world soberly without being intoxicated by love, without being seduced by it, without being tempted by it? without trying to build one common human family. Right now, I am on the beach with him dancing slowly, watching the sun rise over a world where we got up early just to see it, the same sun seen every generation, when the tides of the sea were strong and ships were being submerged in the water until the sun broke through the clouds, and this will be seen until a unto ages of ages. Amen. 232 from Sanger's Perspective I lived among my friends, starting to sell things on the street. I was inspired by what I was reading, and I wrote words someone generations or 50 years in the future would be able to read. And when they read these words, they would, see, they would clearly understand that everything we do has an impact beyond ourselves, down a hundred generations or more. And these choices will live in our children, our posterity, and we must sow the seeds of unity and truth and love. I stood by the side while the Molotov cocktail was thrown, and it hit the ground, and burst into flames three feet away from me. I felt desperate and alone in the desolate and dark sea, where there is no aquatic life. So I emerged out of the oceans, and walked on solid ground for the first time in my life. And as I walked, I looked for the birds, but could not find any in the world. But perhaps they would be able to tell me where all the people had gone. From Harmony's perspective, the birds were wiser than any of us. They left this world long before us. From Leafy's perspective, I continued as a wayfarer for a decade and saw the aftermath of a world where hatred had exploded, where the volcano had burst, and after all the anger, there was not a soul left to clean up the clutter that we left in our wake. No one here strong enough to stand their own ground. When they embraced the help of a government, the government never let them go. And when this last nation collapsed, all the people had been slain. 233A From Sanger's Perspective I woke up one morning. It was like any other day. I ignored what was going on on the news. I would never leave KZN. Born here, I will die here. 233B From Sanger's Perspective we reconsider what we held to be undoubtedly true. 234a, from Leafy's perspective. We walked down our streets, knowing what it is like to be in love. 234b, from Leafy's perspective, tears that fall down your face. From Harmony's perspective, across the shadow of the lives we could have lived together before the shadow vanishes. From Sanger's perspective, and we echo the words forever, out of our blue heaven, from the depths of our hearts we cry, from the echoes of forgotten desires, over the everlasting mountains of regret. From Harmony's perspective, my home was stripped from me forever. From Leafy's perspective, my life was cut short before its time. Always the glue that holds us together falls apart, and our chemicals are burned. CD number six. 
235A. From Leafy's perspective, voice, in a world where no one has time for poets, believers, or the reason for rhyme, we fall into routines, we drown in complacency, in a world where every word I say won't be listened to unless I pay, what do I have to offer you? You don't even listen to any words and I repeat them. We fall into that ocean of self-induced disaster while we create beautiful things for minimum wage. We have surprised the world despite our age, and the world watched as we became consumed in rage. With every moment as the time passed, as unbridled power surges like old plagues, we spoke up with our mics as swords, we harnessed our vocab and our pangs, we were released like demons against the dark lords, wherever they might terrorize us. With words like bombs blowing off shells, this bent-up anger rains like hells, fire upon the tyrants of our lives. And now, will you realize that only through poets our world survives? 235B. From Leafy's perspective, you don't have to be perfect. From Harmony's perspective, you just have to be who you are. From Leafy's perspective, you can hold my hand now. From Harmony's perspective, before the world crashes like the waves of these oceans, like we stand on the edge of the waterfront and watch the ocean meet the sand. From Leafy's perspective, we have always longed for truth. From Sanger's perspective, in South Africa, our only home. 235C. From Leafy's perspective, I wake up at dawn and walk the streets in the early morning. I walk through the snow and hold the world close. I walk through the rain. The water drips off every part of me. Running through the world of colors, I let the embrace of color transform me. From Harmony's perspective, with the notebook, my back against the tree, imagining the lives we could live, and the places we could go, no limit to the glory of the universes. From Leafy's perspective, and I took your hand and guided you through all the things I had discovered in the world. From Harmony's perspective, my head buried in books, my head buried in my notebook again, scribing out worlds, scribing out love. Scribing out happiness, come and follow me into the light. 236. From Harmony's Perspective When you live in the world with no belongings, your life broken, photographs of the past all burned, a certain pain too much to bear. When I say I'm going to get this nation out of its poverty, no one believes I can help. When poverty becomes a cycle of despair, routine without familiarity, depth without reaching the bottom. Moments of hopelessness fired like the rounds of a submachine gun mercilessly. I don't care who you are. No one deserves to live like this. No phone, no food, no water, no way to get any of these things. Loved ones packed up their things and left. And no one can see the value in the things that are broken, but I do. Driving through these townships, we do not stop to understand those who are different than us. Although none of us are really different. 237A from Harmony's perspective, in circles over and over, people give up saying there will always be poor people. So why should I help? If money is the root of all evil, why are so many driven to crime through the lack of it? When you are standing in line at Oxford with just enough money to buy the food, and then the next week on the streets with none at all begging. 237B. From Leafy's perspective, all I want is to be with her when the world grows dark. There are oceans between us. From Harmony's perspective, the same air connects us, the same life in our muscles, moving on forward forever. 238. From Harmony's perspective, regardless of who you are, look at the neighbors around you, greet them with kindness like you greet the new day, the new sun rising like you would greet an old friend. Lift them up when they fall, pick up the phone when they call. 239A, from Harmony's perspective. Dear God, I thank you for the clothes on my back, for the bread I eat today, regardless if I have it tomorrow. I thank you for the streets I can walk, unpaved roads, unfinished bridges, because our government gave up on this area long ago. Lost funds. Dear God, I greet the day like I greet everyone I see, with gratitude and love, in the greatest thanksgiving. And I lie on the asphalt without a phone. 
without a credit card in my pocket and stare up at the sky, wondering what divides us, what keeps us away from the other. There is no reason for us not to greet each other. If you speak to me, I'll always be a friend, always have a thousand words to say, always will fight against those who say spiteful or racist things about you, putting a group of people into one category when really none of us are distant from pure equality. We all come from the same place and we all go back to God. And when we reach God, we greet him and tell him about our broken hearts and the way we were discriminated against because of things that don't matter at all. And we were given crowns and kingdoms and ruled over the worlds. He wiped away the tears from our eyes and told us that the adversity would all be gone, that the broken hearts would be mended to the extent that they could never be broken again, that our lives on earth were but a shadow of what was to come. Though we lived with almost nothing, we would find what belonged to us when we looked toward the future. Regardless of how little I have, I will always be thanking God. The world is wild, unpredictable, mysterious, but I will never lose my gratitude for life, no matter what happens. 239b, from Harmony's Perspective. Hold me closer in this perfect moment. 240, from Harmony's Perspective. Freezing underneath the curtains of the chilly wind outside. This winter will be harder than ever. So many photographs of strangers, but I can almost feel the pain in their eyes. 241 from Harmony's Perspective. We are never quick enough to learn the language of the other. In reality, we're not quick enough to learn any language, but what pleases our own soul. We rarely go out of our way to listen to the stories of those who lived lo not long ago and were just like us. 242, from Harmony's Perspective. Bring me back to the time when I didn't have to worry about anything in the world. When I didn't know anything about apartheid or hatred, which we obtained in our youth. Or burning buildings. Don't we all feel the same way? 243, from Harmony's Perspective. When we were kids, we didn't care what race we were. Racism isn't natural. It is something imposed upon us in a manufactured way. 244a. From Harmony's Perspective. A Marxist dream. A society of hope, equality, and a better life for all. In practice, a society of fear, state repression, and death for all. No God, we abolished him and forced others to abolish him as well. We didn't accept the irrevocable call to grace. Fell drowned in, in an ocean where the light did not shine for us, love did not call to us, the shattered will of the communists breaks when the light of truth comes shining through. We became poor and miserable, we drowned in an ocean of taking what never belonged to us, and in the end, after all of the envy, all of our goods were consumed, and we had nothing. Our government had become almighty God, the tray in which we lay our hopes and dreams, would be taken away from us, burned and butchered, without telling us where it would go. You went on a long and frightful journey into madness, and eventually led you into despair. While you were gone, and as I waited for you to return, I stared into my notebooks, heads buried in my own imagination. While I am writing, I am suddenly swallowed, up, swallowed as by a whale. I am buried in the sea, and only God knows if I will re-emerge. And while I am gone, the world became so violent and wounded by despair, writhing madly like animals do, when they are mortally wounded. Before the world gave up the ghost, life became a total and thorough hell. Every avenue was found a new gulag, a new death camp, and a new place where equality and love are nowhere to be found. Forcing God away from the minds of the proletariat, and we had all become members of the same class. We all became equal, but only in the same poverty. We grieved the death of the past world, but could never return to the world from which we were exiled. We were thrust out of that world forever, like the angel guards the re-entrance with a flaming sword. As if we had cheated on our spouse for the hundredth time, and this last time still expected them to take us back. There was no love. The only thing we had were sugar-coated lies. There was no equality. The only thing we had were promises that would never be kept. Lip service to the slogan while murdering those the slogan appealed to. There was only a, ever a precarious hope for the future. Not a real hope. 
not even a fool's hope, just a hope that was about to be extinguished that would never ignite the world. Religion was never the interest of the elite, but only of the poor, and those who have no other avenue but to cry out to God, and beg him to change the darkness that thrives in the world, into some vague form of light so that they may walk by it. Oh, we crave our words of truth, so that we may live by them. We sought to chart our own paths, without this light, without grace that comes from the glorious mysteries of grace. 244b. From Leafy's Perspective. Union of pieces that don't easily fit together. From Harmony's Perspective. But we were made for each other perfectly, belong with each other. And we long for each other, each and every moment. We do not understand the magic of it, but it echoes through us the same. We go through pain and desperation. 244C From Leafy's perspective, there are oceans between us. From Harmony's perspective, there is no distance that can keep our hearts apart. There is no joyful song that will not tell our story. 244D From Leafy's perspective, the broken promises of the politicians. 244E from Leafy's perspective, the disaster of a world that has fallen in on itself. What we built for so long comes tumbling down. 245 from Harmony's perspective. Rejoice, gracious lady, who gave birth to God in the flesh for salvation of all, and through whom the human race has found salvation. Through you may we find paradise, the Otokos, our lady, pure and blessed. Pure and beautiful. The perfect example for all of humanity, our gracious lady. Better to follow her example than to follow anyone else's. 246a, from Harmony's Perspective. The nature of the life we live, miserable, laborious, and short. Such might be the nature of life. What, however, if happiness is internal, and smiles can be still made in the most stressful circumstances? where we can lift our eyes to heaven, always and forever grateful to be alive for as long as we are alive. We are grateful for what we have. We give and we never take more than we need. 246b, from Leafy's perspective, our hearts on cloud nine. From Harmony's perspective, our souls intertwined. From Leafy's perspective, united perfectly, coming together in unison, sailing through the stars. From Harmony's perspective, Silently in our dreams, the air against the wings of the plane, turbulence beyond our fears. While we wade through the stars, soaring through the, above the clouds, and up into space, and the birds follow us to the empire of the stars. 247a, from Harmony's Perspective. Length of days, stretch of time, that pass while my heart is chilled from the tears, when with sudden movements... We realize we have no fear of death, no more concern for our own lives left. When we sit back and feel the sound of the passing nature, the warmth of the passing breeze, while we sit by the lake and I'm held in the arms of true love. When true love comes to find me, we know it will be here to stay, so we can witness and wait until the passing breeze creates ripples in the water. Watch the days pass slowly while we sleep alone. There is something beautiful about stopping and breathing. There is something remarkable about how we came to this specific moment in our lives, how we became dreamers, waiting for the time to pass. And when it is gone, we want nothing more than to have those days back, which we wasted desiring something better. We have trampled over all of the wicked politicians. We have sung democracy. We have sung the purity of love found in places we weren't even looking for it. We have found poetry in the moments when we would write words no one else would hear but the passing breeze. We were, we were fulfilled when we walked the city streets and imagined what all others would feel. Walking through the same street, city streets, what would encapsulate the souls of so many hearts broken when they dreamed of becoming whole. There might never be a path out of the coldness of this winter to a land of warmth. We look for it never finding it. We dream about running from the pain we hold dearer than a lover. We crave recognition for what we have accomplished. 
We crave a future in which the sun will brightly shine over a world that has not yet been forsaken. We dream of the sunrise over a nation in which all people who come to this nation are welcome. A nation built on the foundation of love, peace, reconciliation, and not apartheid or revenge. All equals advancing out of poverty. All life found in a world where there is truth and expression and joy and music. And for all this joy there is just as much wealth. And for all this wealth there is just as much love. And for all the love there is just as much eternal life that proceeds from this love forever. In South Africa our land we will live forever as one family totally united. Singing the same anthem, roaring from the mountains of, to forests all across the land, when the rain falls and the cycle repeats over and over. When we put on instrumental tracks in our car, and we know the song so well that we will sing out the lyrics, and we ourselves become the song, and the reason for the melody. That is what we will be like as a nation. Our empty page now can be written over with anything, any words, any set of poems or stories, several thousand novel lengths worth of words, in fact protruding from our imaginations, our pens and finally etching out into your shallow heart when you read it, and then after you read it, there is so much more room in your heart, a nation that walks away from oppression toward religious freedom, Democracy, how glorious is the light of freedom of speech, how tenuous and fragile has it become, because every nation promises it, but breaks that promise, paying lip service to the slogan, but never following through. I will be here with you, writing more words, no one can shut me up or force me to stop typing these words. These are the words that will be remembered forever long after I am gone broken, pierced on the ground, and unable to move. Lift us up away from the place where we are complacent, and rise from the shadows toward the future we can almost taste. We are only one human family. There are no divisions between us, and I do not understand how you cannot see this. We reject anything that is not beautiful, and the only thing that is beautiful is what is true. I remember how we lay outside, and we talked about our past, we talked about not only the things we're proud of, but what we feared and all the things we regretted doing. And I accept you whole in your past, whole in your present, whole in your future, forgetting all mistakes forever, seeing only beauty and loving only beauty, and loving you permanently and unbreakably. Your arms were made to catch me. My body is perfect to fall into your embrace. And then we realized that we were never as broken as we thought we were. 247B From Leafy's Perspective we stand underneath the bean, looking at our own reflection. We realize that we could take a million pictures and write billions of words from Harmony's perspective, and they would never describe our lives, our anthem. 247C, from Harmony's perspective, young and in love, desperate within a world becoming a sinking ship. 247D, from Leafy's perspective, we fight only in the name of love. 248 from Harmony's Perspective Our symphony roars over the mountains and is heard. The song is a sad one, a siren song that leads those who hear it into admiration and foolish hope. Nowhere to hide from it eventually. And it will be heard in the gentle breeze, sound of quiet birds, nestling in their nests. What is all life reaching out for if not for love? What is the purpose of life if not for love? 249A from Harmony's Perspective Hold me close and never let go, so together we can face the brutality of our own mortality, the cruelty of what is not fair about life, the lots we have cast, denoting our luck within a machine where the cogs refuse to turn. 249B from Leafy's Perspective We hear all of the joyful noise of simply spending time with our friends. We share the same jokes we were sharing back in college. From Harmony's perspective, imagine we lost our bearings on the world we were comfortable in, and we found ourselves in a foreign world. In this world, we, are, we were aliens, but this is the world where we originated. I will teach you languages you never thought about learning. I will show you pain you were always ignoring. 249C, from Leafy's perspective, we run through our world, where we can't run, we walk, and where we can't walk, we crawl. 250A, from Harmony's perspective, 
In the night we wait in the tent. We fall and sink into our dreams. 250B. From Leafy's perspective, I know the pain inside my being is insurmountable. It is higher than any mountain I have ever encountered. From Harmony's perspective, if there is a God, then we should not doubt. If there is a hope, even that of fools, we should hold on to it until the end of our days. 251A. From Harmony's perspective, sleep with me in an ocean, and the oceans fall into a waterfall. And this waterfall goes to a place we have always wanted to go, but takes us there so quickly and violently that we are afraid to go there. 251B. From Leafy's perspective, I want to be completely yours. From Harmony's perspective, when I am gone, you will not mourn me. Grief plays its vicious part. When I no longer speak, you will look for my voice. You will only find it in my words, written down while I was alive. 251C. From Leafy's perspective, walking with her by the waterfront. From Harmony's perspective, and feeling the natural wind of the world. 252A. From Harmony's perspective. My stars dance in the sky, and your birds see my stars dancing and are jealous, and long to be part of the celebration. So the birds all at once decided to fly to the land of the stars, where they would be happy together with the stars, and then the celebration was even more glorious. 252B. From Leafy's perspective. Wounds, scrapes, cuts, all of these will heal in time. 253. From Harmony's perspective, my mind cannot keep track of all the thoughts I have. I write so much whenever I feel a new emotion, whenever there is a new joy inside my soul. There are millions of joys left unexperienced and unwritten about, and the empty page was begging to have ink on it that would describe this joy. 254a. From Harmony's perspective, within a world of hopelessness, we found our hope in books and education, learning the language of the other, and nothing was boring again once we learned the language of those who lived across our street. 254b. From Leafy's perspective, within this world, all we want is to live in the arms of the other. From Harmony's perspective, within this world, all we want is to feel the glory of the sunlight every day we are alive. 255A From Harmony's perspective Today I stand alone in the city, and I speak to the shadows across my city, and they tell me things about how desperate they are for the light, because in the absence of this light there is no clarity, no language at all, no communication of any kind. Our lungs gasping for air, we dream together, and write a new constitution after running thousands of miles in the shoes of thousands of people, trading off shoes every hundred or so miles, so that we can understand every breath and sensation they were feeling. 255b. From Leafy's Perspective When inspiration comes to find me, I am ready for it. The doors of my soul are all open for the flood of beauty that will come. 256. From Harmony's Perspective Every moment I feel tired from fighting within the world. I grow weary and dizzy, and my pain flows through me like my own blood, but nothing will force me down. 257. From Harmony's Perspective Emptiness inside my heart when I realize that loneliness is only one mistake away. 258. From Harmony's Perspective Joy inside my veins when I realize that pain is so close to us and can be summoned only by asking for it or even dreaming at night about it. 259A from Leafy's perspective, last night I had a dream. I was on a flight to South Africa, but I forgot my passport and realized that I forgot my passport when I was on the plane, but it was okay because they never asked for it. And I found the passport when I walked out the doors of King Shaka International Airport. 259B from Leafy's perspective, energy, essence, and divinity. These are all the same, flowing through the world, filling every heart that has given up hope and granting a sense of peace to souls that have fallen. 259C From Leafy's perspective, in never taking a risk in our lives, we wasted away inside our own doors. From Har Harmony's perspective, when we never left our homes, 
We burst with so much passion that our souls left and experienced the losses and triumphs that our bodies never did when we wrote books about the experiences that belong to us. 259D, from Leafy's perspective, I look at the sky, gazing at it, from Harmony's perspective. I see the joy in the colors, the depth of the expanse, the longing to just reach a little bit further, to reach heights, which I know I will never be able to touch. 260, from Leafy's perspective, there is a certain joy that we will only... 261A From Harmony's perspective In the spring of our lives we dance together 261B From Harmony's perspective How far we have fallen into the hell we have made... 262A From Leafy's perspective With Harmony I am ready to greet the world and embark on a life... 262B From Leafy's perspective Silence is all I hear in this night It indicates the passing time but nothing... 263A, from Harmony's perspective, if this is the final letter I ever write and no one reads it, 263B, from Leafy's perspective, I miss the sunlight that existed between my thoughts and dreams, 264, from Harmony's perspective, greet me in this night, come greet me during the raging storm, 265, from Harmony's perspective, midnight again and we watch the moon ascend into the sky, we watch as 266A, from Harmony's perspective, we are always creating new works of art. Sometimes we feel if we stop... 266B, from Leafy's perspective, I still see her even though she has passed out of this world. 267A, from Sanger's perspective, there is joy that shatters hopelessness, and when it is shattered, the people... 267B, from Leafy's perspective, I held her hand and with the ring on her finger, old... 267C, from Leafy's perspective, I greeted my Harmony and she was in tears. I asked her, 267D, from Leafy's perspective, break every chain in the world that is nothing but a prison. Every 268A, from Leafy's perspective, burning city, lights like a candle. 268B, from Harmony's perspective, you come home to me Friday night for information on how you can help those in need in South Africa, regardless of race, religion, etc.